Hey everyone, it's Katie from Without a Crystal Ball. It's installment three, three, three um, of the daily whatever we do on this channel. Um, we've been talking a lot about Unexpected. You know tonight is the tell-all um, of the third season. We are wrapping up season number three tonight with the tell-all um, where all the girls will come back and talk about their season. We will see Tyra, we will see Chloe, we will see Ryla, we will see Michaela, um, we will see Haley Tomlinson and Matthew Bevins, new girl, Haley number two, who is also Haley number one's best friend. So uh, this is an interesting tale, you guys. Um, we've been tracking it pretty, pretty tightly on this channel and Haley number two has been doing a whole lot of denying that she's with child. Now, you remember that Matthew, who smells like Doritos and stinky odor socks and hasn't taken a shower in seven days, has apparently, allegedly, maybe knocked up another girl. And this girl could be Haley number two. There's been a lot of signs, symptoms, um, indications. Chloe Mendoza on Instagram Live in September made the insinuation that she was pregnant following her trip to New York when fans asked if Haley number two would be back for another season and when asked about whether or not she would return because she didn't have a baby, Chloe said, does she? But does she? Well, yesterday, we haven't seen a whole lot of pictures of Haley number two recently, ma making many fans speculate that something was going on and this could be why, because yesterday while at a wedding for her best friend, um, Miss Thang was rocking a bump. Your eyes are not deceiving you. That looks like a swollen belly on a rail thin girl. Haley number two in the summer was posting photos in a bikini with an incredibly flat stomach. This is a very thin girl, um, lanky. And now she seems to have what looks like the end of a first trimester, maybe early second trimester belly of a baby. Now, I know that on this channel, we do not shame whether someone gains weight or not, but it's questionable when somebody's gaining all their weight in their boobs and their tummy. Typically, that's an indication of pregnancy. Um, I grabbed some other photos for you to see a different angle and you can tell here that it's still swollen. Um, even from straight on, you can see that it's swollen in her very tight dress. Now she was at her best friend's wedding and it is, is it sad that during this, while I'm looking through the photos, while I'm seeing her with her friend, all I'm thinking was, well, at least she can't steal your boyfriend now because you're married. Now, during her adventurous days, there's been some hints that maybe there might be a child in there. Um, back in September, this was posted while she was at the reunion, at the tell-all, and you can see sort of like an indication of a tiny little tummy showing up there. But it was the baby registry that was fallen last week that was really a telling sign, along with her Pinterest board for a baby shower for a blue representing a boy. Now, it's hard to deny the fact that these photos certainly look like she is with child. Um, as soon as she posted the photo, the comment section blew up with people saying, oh my God, you're pregnant, you're pregnant, you're pregnant, to the point where she ended up disabling comments and turning comments off of all of her photos that she posted from the day before or from that day. So she's definitely looking pregnant. Now, over... Then on Instagram and in her stories, people have been un <clears throat> maybe people have been hard on her because if you remember, she was talking with her best friend's boyfriend via text, via uh, Snapchat, via Instagram while Haley number one was pregnant. She was like flirting with him, sending pictures of her chest to him. And people, and she's mad that people are insinuating that she's a homewrecker or that she is, you know, breaking girl code, but that's literally kind of what she did. Um, and it says, I can't change how strangers view me, therefore I'm moving on. One of the happiest moments of my life is when you find the courage to let go of what you cannot change. Um, 
and then hate is heavy, let it go. And try not to take things personally. Often what people say is a reflection of them, not of you. Well, I don't know. Pointing out that you literally like kind of did a nasty thing to a friend that was pregnant by uh, sliding into her boyfriend's DMs while you guys are all friends and then flirting with him and sending him inappropriate photos and then telling her about it and then getting giddy while he messages her but then doesn't respond to the other Haley. And then seven days after your supposed best friend, not only, wait, hold up, you don't show up to your best friend's wet shower and then you and Matthew gaslight her during her pregnancy, make Haley number one feel like she's crazy because she senses the feelings that the two of you have for one another. You deny it, you make her feel like the bad guy. And then when Haley number one finally has the baby, Mr. Matthew decides over text message that he is going to break up with her. And then within only days, actually the same day he breaks up, he's literally with Haley number two. It's gross. Seven days postpartum, Matthew is leaving Haley number one for Haley number two. And now only months after delivering the first baby of his by his baby number, baby mama number one, Haley one, he's going to have another baby on the way. And this kid hasn't even graduated from high school. Think about that. He is 16 years old. He doesn't have his driver's license. Um, Haley number one on Instagram has said repeatedly that she believes that he is with Haley number two because she has a car, because she has more freedom. She just graduated from high school. He is still in high school. He's only a junior in high school and this chick's in, supposed to be in college but appears to have put her entire life on hold for this dill hole. I don't understand what the appeal is with this kid. He looks like he smells like Doritos. Anyway. Haley number one on Instagram said, I just want someone whose mindset is, nah, man, I can't even do her like that. Yeah, I agree, Haley one, number one. You definitely deserved better than that. And then um, she also shared, I'm chill as F, and that's probably why so many Bs can't vibe with me. You Bs love drama and hoeing around, LOL, can't. That ain't even my character. So that's sort of a shade dig at Haley number two. And I would say, like, if your friend is going out with your boyfriend, she was literally never your friend to begin with because your friends that care about you would never abandon you while you're pregnant and not show up your baby shower, flirt with your boyfriend, and then start sleeping with him within seven days of you giving birth. And then her pregnancy now has a lot of fans on Instagram saying that she planned this, that she's doing this to get a spot on the show. Um, that she's trying to get the Insta family because she's jealous that Haley number one has a child with him. It is interesting. They're literally pregnant within what? A few months of dating, six months within six months of dating. They're already pregnant. How is that even feasibly possible? Um, if you're using condoms or birth control and it's clear if you have one baby on the way, Matthew, you'd probably know a second time around that you should probably wrap that little pickle up or at least make sure that your girl is taking her birth control pills every day. But I digress, these are teenagers who are like not thinking clearly. Um, again, and I'm not shaming teen pregnancy by any means, um, but this is an interesting take because Haley number two now will become baby mama number two, allegedly based on that swollen belly she's posting on Instagram. We will know for sure tonight on uh, TLC, the unexpected um, season finale, the tell-all will air this evening where we will catch up with all of the girls um, and find out where everyone stands. I'm not even going to say it's going to be shocking at this point when they announce we're pregnant. This is a reminder to all of you that have children to remind them to use condoms or to take their birth control and not forget, or just don't do the di don't even do the deed unless you're in love with a condom. Plus, like, I think maybe Matthew has super sperm, so maybe he needs three condoms. I don't understand how a kid can get this many women pregnant. And then people were even laughing on Instagram while the photos were posting that 
um, he's probably already met Haley number three and he's going to leave her four days postpartum because, you know, he wants to outdo the first time he left a girl right after she gave birth. It's sad that, you know, what should be a happy time for her. Well, I don't know. Are you happy when you're this young and pregnant? I don't know. I honestly don't know. I don't know. I, Haley number one certainly isn't happy. Although Haley number one was on Instagram dressing up uh, Kinsley in an adorable like Raggedy Ann costume for Halloween. So um, Haley number one seems to really embr be embracing motherhood and is trying to put this all behind her. But it's further proof that Matthew is a d-hole and uh, a douche canoe, let's just say, um, a baby boy and Haley number two is probably getting what she wants and it's going to be hard for America to embrace her and forgive her um, now that she's pregnant with another because this looks very suspicious. All right, you guys, I would love to hear what your thoughts are. Do you think it's shady that she's pregnant already? Do you trust that she is doing this? Uh, this happened by accident. Do you think this was planned? Do you think she's trying to get a spot on the show? Um, there could be a lot of reasons why this would happen, but it is interesting that they're on a show and then it's unexpected and then she's pregnant. Like, does she, is she trying to get Haley number one spot? Like, seriously, that's what it looks like to me. All right, tell me what your thoughts are. Bye, guys.